Hello Biscuits, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be teaching you how you can get the World Edit mod with Optifine in your 1.19 world, 1.19 plus. And World Edit is a mod that allows you to do so much, much easier. And if you're just using vanilla commands like slash fill like I was, or like slash set block, World Edit is much easier and it's much faster to learn. So I highly recommend it. I actually just I know I, I've known about this, but I just haven't downloaded it, and I totally regret not download 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 me it sooner. So um, let's crack on with it, and um, let's begin, Joe. All right. So the first thing is to quickly look in the description and open all of the windows. I just recommend all of them, just um, for convenience. All of the windows, um, all of the links that I put in the description, and order them. Open them in order, unlike what I did. Um, oh, all right. So first thing you want to do is download Fabric. So it's fabric.mc.net, look in the description, and click download for Windows. But since op I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to use 1.19 right now because I don't know which ones are out yet. But let's click show other versions. OK, make sure with the newest one. And then click download for Windows. OK, so wait for that to done. And then when it's blinking, click on it. And there, when it's um, when it looks like this, um, I'd pick one. I'm I'm just gonna pick 1.19 because I know all of the all of the other mods needed are 1.19. So we're gonna do that and press install. So when it's done, it's gonna say many mods also require you to put Fabric a API into the mods folder. So we're gonna press OK. You can close this and then open the next link called Fabric API. A fabric API is needed to like load um, most other mods, including World Edit. So once again, I'm just gonna, gonna go to files for later ver older versions and where it says 1.19, where is it? 1.19, here we go. You're gonna press the download file button and then here we are, okay. So um, you're just gonna do the same for um, the Opti fabric over here. Um, the next link, Opti fabric, it's in the description as well. Um, let's see, let's look for 1.19. Here we are, 1.19, and then press the download button. All right, so now we can go and look for Optifine. So Optifine.net, um, you're not actually gonna, this isn't actually the same download way. You're gonna click on the download if you wanna skip pressing mirror and then download. And so instead of clicking it and opening it as you normally would, you're actually gonna put it into your mods folder. So one sec. You're gonna wanna press your Windows key and R at the same time, that'll open this run thing. And then in it, type in percent app data percent. Click open or press enter and then press dot Minecraft. Now look until you see a dot mods folder. And if you don't have a dot mods folder, it's simple, just um, press new and just create a new mods folder. Inside I already have a few mods and these are mods that I like to use, the mini HED mod, the Mali, Mali Lib mod, and the replay mod just for customization stuff. So what you're gonna wanna do with these three, you're gonna wanna, okay, well actually let me move it to the side. You're gonna put all of your downloads into this mods folder. So the Optifine right here, you wanna put your Optifabric in there and a show all and your fabric API put that in there too so now that that's all done um, let's um, close all of these no we don't need them then look for the world edit world edit mod link in the download so I'm gonna go down it to mods to the files let's see here um, this one download file Perfect, just like that, and then plop it in to your folder once it's just blinking. All right, it'll take a while. This is the largest file. Here, now it's blinking. You can drag it in there. So you should have your world edit, Optifine, Optifabric, Fabric API, and what you just opened your um, in your and your fabric which you downloaded. So now you're gonna to wanna to open your Minecraft launcher. And then um, it should automatically 
have the fabric loader 1.19 right here. If it doesn't, press installations and you should see over here. If that doesn't, make sure your modded thing is selected over there. And, you, and if it's still not showing, press new installation, type whatever name you want, and then look for your fabric loader release. Since I already have it, you can just press the play or go to play and press play. It'll say you're using mods, but these are all safe. Click I understand the risks, don't want to hear about this again, and then press play. So I'll see you once my Minecraft is loaded. Okay, now in case you get an error game crashed, notice over here, press close, and then look back at some of the older mods and go back to Optifine. And then just try and try and get an older version of the of Optifine over here. Like instead of H9, I'll go for H8. Mirror. And then plop this in. Let's close this. And then plop and delete this. Download and then put it back in our wait. I already downloaded it. Nope. Okay, put that and make sure all the mods match. And if you have any other any other mods that are older and it says that Optifabric is interfering with it, then just delete those mods and look for look for a new another another version over there. So we have an older version of Optifine. Um, now let's try that again. So now my Minecraft is loaded and I'm just using my resource pack website link in the description um and um it should say that you have optifine loaded and fabric and it sh should say modded but that's it click single player and then just open any random world all right so we are now in game with um the optifine and the world edit as you can see i can still zoom and use optifine i can go into video settings and everything still optifine -y. and um I also, and all my other mods are working too, as you can see in the top left corner, my mini HED is working. And so, let me just give you, I'm not going to give you a full guide, but just a quick little guide. There's tons of, tons of guides on YouTube. Honestly, all of them are, most of them are good. Make sure to just check the comments though. So first thing, get the infamous wooden axe. And this I'll be making selections, I guess. So, this is perfect for like using slash fill instead. If you don't want to use a wooden axe, you can type in slash slash pause, pause one for position one. I'm just going to break it with my wooden axe for the first position. And then over here, I'm going to fly up since I can't tap anything. Do slash slash pause, pause two. So now you have that selected. And then you can do set and you can, sorry, slash slash set. And you can set that block to say stone. There we go. And look at that, much easier. And the best part is you can do slash slash set, set stone, and you can do other blocks too, like stone, gravel, comma, and a site. Let's do that. And now look, you can, this is much better than having to randomize it yourself. And um, there's a bunch of other cool things you want, you can do. So say you don't want to like fly up or do slash TP, like 200 blocks, you can do slash up, and let's say let's go up like 50 blocks and it'll set you up 50 blocks and it'll place a glass block underneath you and so that's also really good and so you so you don't have to slash slash set block you can do slash up zero and it'll just set a block there and in the sky and then you can use it for building please load there for building um and also it has um a calculator too so here, let's test it. What is one plus one? See, I told you. Let's cal let's calculate. Let's see if y equals mx plus b. Come on, no, that's a that's a slope. Oh, okay. I mean, okay. It can't. It's not a graphing calculator. It's just a simple calculator, and. Yeah, it's really cool. And you can also make really cool structures. Like, let's say I want to make um, a, let's make a cylinder, uh, or let's actually make a sphere that, let's make it out of um, netherite, netherite block. 
and let's make it six blocks wide. And in case you're stuck, you can do slash unstuck, just like that. And if you don't like that, I don't like that, you can do slash undo, just like that. You can't do that with slash fill. I mean, well, you can, but it's it's much easier. I'm not gonna go too more in depth, but it's a great mod, and the best part is you have Optifine, yay. All right, now, um, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I'll see you guys in another video pretty soon. Bye.